Okay, so now we've basically done the basics of storytelling, how to do a one-minute video, how to acquire your stuff, and how to put together a workmanlike, what we would call CNN level, basic video, which is great. Now that you've got that skill set down, I want to take you to the next level of sophistication, because this is really important. You want to be successful in this business, you want to make some money, you want to start selling things to cable or start selling things to online or whoever the client is, you have to have compelling stories. And it's not just about the five shots. We're going to get into advanced stories, advanced shooting really soon. But first I want to take you to the next level of storytelling, because advanced storytelling and advanced shooting, they really come together as a package like everything else. This is a very organic system that we've developed. What makes a great story and differentiates it from a report or a video is it's about a character. Characters are the essence of great storytelling, and this is true whether we're talking about one-minute videos, three-minute videos, news stories, industrials, or feature films, or series on television, or reality shows. Everything that works in television or movies and film, if you start to look at it, is really about a character. That's why actors get paid astronomical amounts of money. That's what makes a story hang together. And this has been true since the days of Homer. Storytelling about people. People are interested in people. So in this series of lessons, we're going to take the, the rules that we learned about storytelling, let the story go where it wants to go, and shooting, and now marry them to telling stories about people. And you can see the ramifications for this are enormous once you wrap your head around this thing. So the most important thing you're going to do now, besides don't move the camera, which is still the most important, the next most important thing is casting your film. Now, if you're doing fiction, obviously casting is different. But in terms of doing documentary or news stories or journalism, since we are video journalists, you also have to cast your film. When you walk into any given situation, you're going to find your seven events we talked about before. But now I want you to add something else. When you walk into any given situation, I want you to find those seven events, and then I want you to find the star of your film. In other words, I want you to cast the film. I want you to look around the room and find the person that's going to be the star of your film. How do you do that? How do you know who the star is? It's the same way you know what the great shots are. It's an emotional, instinctive, visceral thing. You may come to a story and you may find the head of the New Jersey Sanitation Department, who knows everything about New Jersey sewer systems that you can imagine. But that guy may not be the star of your film. The star of your film may be the guy in the corner who's mopping the floors. The star of your film is the guy you take home to your husband or wife or significant other, the person you live with, and say, honey, guess who I brought home? Well, if you brought home the head of the New Jersey Sanitation Department, he's in a polyester shirt and cheap shoes, she's going to take you in the kitchen and go, what the hell is the matter with you? That guy is boring. But if you take home some really cool guy that you happen to run into, who is a fantastic storyteller and really fun to be with, she's going to go, that guy was great, bring him around more often. That's who you want to find. Because when people come to your website, or your films, or your videos, it's about who you've brought in as your guests. It's your guest stars. It's guess who I brought home with me. So the first thing you're going to do in this series is cast your film. Okay?